Good afternoon, this is Mike Farley. We're in Trophy Club, Texas tonight, and we're looking at a really neat project. Uh, the cool thing about this project was trying to fit it in with the trees. The trees were the critical element on this particular project, and so we had to try to fit all the elements that we were trying to do. We wanted a pool and a spa and a big tanning ledge, and we wanted something that was somewhat architectural to fit with the house, uh, but we wanted something that would also fit with uh, the natural setting of all the trees. Uh, we also had to have some lounge chairs. Uh, but other than that, you know, it was just uh, coming up with a, a neat design that would maybe have some cool elements, uh, water features and fire features. And, you know, just like everything in a small space to try to accommodate the trees as well. So one of the things that we had in this backyard along with trees was some slope. And with the slope, we can't change the elevation around the trees. And so we wanted something that terraced nicely around the space that we could still work with everything. There was an existing retaining wall, which we took out part of. And then on the back side of the pool, uh, the pool came up out of the ground. And that varied in, in distance because we had what's called a cross slope in the backyard. It slopes from one property line on the side to the other tremendous difference. Uh, so on one side of the yard, the property line was kind of level with the foundation. The other side, it's like 10 feet below the foundation. So we put the pool in, in between the existing patio and some of the, the main porch area and drop that down a little bit. But the problem with dropping it down is we exposed the foundation. So we had to come in and put some veneer on the side of the foundation to uh, create a step. Uh, in certain areas we couldn't do that so we came in with the planting pockets to kind of cover that up so we didn't see raw foundation over time. And then everything around the pool was level until we got to the back side of the pool and then we're sticking out of the ground anywhere from two feet to four feet. Well, four feet was kind of a, a bit, so we actually came over the retaining wall across the back of the pool so uh, we could terrace that. So the back of the pool has a drop beam as well as a retaining wall to balance that elevation change. So the desire with this project was to make it all blend. So one of the things is we had existing porch that had Oklahoma flagstone on it. We had the Granberry on the house and so we searched around some stone yards till we could find the Granberry similar in color so all the stonework we added on the veneers would appear very similar to what was on the house although the house was constructed eight years ago and a lot of times as currently there is most of the Granberry coming out of the quarry is lighter than what's here so we did some searching uh, the other thing is blending the Oklahoma flagstone on the coping and the wall caps uh, to blend with the porch and then the interior of the finish of the pool, we wanted something that was going to be highly reflective uh, to kind of uh, pick up the, the cool reflection of all the trees. Also, with limited sunlight here, we wanted something as warm as possible. These people are used to diving, uh, so they wanted a really nice warm pool. And so uh, we came in with the, uh, the black pebble sheen. Uh, that we used. And then the spa, a lot of times people with a perimeter overflow spa want to use glass, but we wanted something that was a little more understated. And so we came in with the dark porcelain uh, to blend with the, the pebble sheen and, and complement that. And also a lot of the architectural details on the home and the dark bronze colors. And so the same reason for using the copper on the fire bowls was to blend in with those elements as well. So we wanted to bring in some curves, but also bring in some straight lines. We wanted something that was efficient in the space, and just a, a rectangular spa was going to take up too much space, where the round uh, softened things nicely and helped us play off the curve on the back wall of the pool, which blended in more with the, the natural setting of the golf course and the trees behind. Well, it was some really nice tanning ledges. And so because of the symmetry that was desired on this particular project, we flanked them on both sides of the spa and added gushers to make a nice water feature as long as with the spillways coming out of the columns. We thought about water bowls, water and fire, but those are too high and there was too much of a taper coming out of them or it looked more like a, an ice pick instead of water features so we brought the water out of the columns instead of out of the bowls themselves just let those to be fire got a really cool project here 
which fit in well with the setting and looks like it was designed to be here from the very beginning even though it was added years after the house was constructed. So this is Mike Farley from Trophy Club. Hope that gave you some idea of the design concepts of this project. If you like it, share it with your friends, hit that like button, give us some comments below, help us know some things that we could do in the future and explain as well. If you're interested in a pool, hey, give us a call and we'll design something for you. Don't wait till it's 105 degrees outside because that's when everybody else calls too.